is up, guys? This is Rise, and welcome to another edition of the show where the teams are made up. The ELO does not matter whatsoever. And it's all about the spice and the weekend. Shout out to Rebecca Black. It's not Friday. It's Saturday, and it is Spicy Saturday, where Yusufer, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, has sent us in a very spicy team featuring Shadow Haunter, Sock, and a Machamp. It is normally you see Shadow Machamp, it's just a regular Machamp, and it's also an XXS Machamp, like a super small Machamp. And dude, Sock in his stance, he's ready to go. He's like, I don't get much playing time. I gotta, I gotta take advantage. I gotta use this. I gotta use this opportunity to show everybody what I got, dude. I like Sock's animation, dude. I don't necessarily think Sock is the strongest Pokemon. Hot take, but I like his animations. He looks super cool. You don't see him too often or ever. And maybe that's for a reason. Maybe not. Maybe he's been unjustly unjustly targeted by by the media. They like to say, oh, Sock's not that good. He's one of the worst fighters in the game. He runs non-stab poison jab. He runs brick break in bodies and doesn't even have a threatening charge move. Sock has been hearing all the critics and is trying to prove them wrong in this video. Little Machamp, look at him. He's so tiny. He's he's much tinier than a regular Machamp. Don't you notice that? Look at the little Machamp. <laughs> Going straight for the rock slide here. No messing around. No funny business. Oh, get it. Get shielded. And I don't think you're going to live the next Volt Switch to get to the Rock Slide, unfortunately. Unless you're one away. Wait, are you one away? No, you're two away. Darn. Darn. Tough way to lose, but Yusufer doesn't give up easy. He doesn't call it quits. He is not sure what to do against a Sableye. I mean, I wouldn't really be sure what to do there. He's forced to swap Machamp into Sableye. A bit of a core breaker for his team. And... Gonna shield up the foul play. Do you go for the rock slide or do you settle for the cross chop? Gonna bait the cross chop. This was charge attack party on a foul play, so you live a foul play. Hopefully you get a shield. Nice. That's perfect. Yeah, you let this go. Because it's approaching cross chop range. Unfortunately, I don't think you get to double cross chop. So just I would just throw the rock slide here, right? Because if they let this go for whatever reason, this might not knock out. This looks a little scary, bro. This looks a little scary. Comes in with Sock. Oh, they throw foul play immediately. That's nice. How bulky is Sock? I don't even know. Oof. Not that bulky. Did not take that foul play very well. Gets the farm down. Okay, let's go. Does Vigoroth come in? It does. Brick break. Maybe you catch on three. Are we going to catch on three? Are we going to count to three and catch? No, we're just going to swap right away. Giratina. Oh my gosh, in the Great League. Wow. Giratina Origin. Oh my gosh, look at that damage. I think you definitely reach an Ice Punch here. Let's go, dude. Haunter. Haunt Shadow Haunter. Oh, doesn't even knock out. What the heck? What gets the knockout there? Dude, I used to joke about Shadow Haunter. When people were saying, like, what Shadow Pokemon should they add next? I would jokingly say Shadow Haunter because it was already so high attack. That, like, Shadow Haunter just seemed ridiculous. And here we are, the year 2024, where we are seeing Shadow Haunters in action. Sock throws the Body Slam. Sorry, I'll say it again. I Sometimes I make the mistake of, like, when I say a plural of a Pokemon, you're, you're not supposed to say Haunters. You're just supposed to say Haunter. Like, the plural isn't, you don't add an S. It's like we're seeing Shadow Haunter in 2024. You're not supposed to say Haunters. That's like improper Pokemon grammar. Um, Aerial Ace grabs a shield. Shadow Haunter going for the Ice Punch. Has back-to-back. -back. So if they shield, you just fire off. Bang, bang. Back-to-back. -back. They let it go. Makes sense. Goes for the Shadow Ball here. Oh, baby. This would do massive damage if it lands. Shadow Ball. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Haunter. Haunter doing Whisk Cash dirty. Whiskash was thinking, ha, 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 it's my time to feast. And Hunter's like, not today, bro. 
Not today. I'm rocking Shadow Ball. And uh, this poor Obama Snow is just going to get punched down by Mr. Machamp. By little Mr. Machamp. Oh, I spoke too soon. Whisk cash. Monsieur Whisk cash. Gets to the mud bomb. I don't know why I'm just noticing now that Whisk cash looks kind of like French to me. With his whiskers. Am I just... Am I just weird and crazy? Or is that, like, supposed to be a thing? Anyway. Haunter. Into Azu. This is, like, decent for Haunter. For the Shadow Hunter, it's so frail. Like, these bubbles are going to add up a lot. So, Haunter probably doesn't even reach three moves if you go straight Shadow Ball. But, here we go. Shadow Ball coming through. Does Azu shield? It doesn't. They're not respecting... They're not respecting the Shadow Ball. Swaps into Sock. Shields the play rough. Oh! They come up with Charm Knight, but dude, these charms are doing way more than the jabs. <laughs> You're both feeling super effective, but the charms are just doing way more. Oh my gosh. Okay, at least chips it a decent amount. So now you wait out your clock, you come in with Haunter. And this is probably going to come down to, like, the zero shield scenario in the back. Because Haunter will hopefully be able to pull a shield against the back Pokemon. With the Shadow Ball. And then hopefully Machamp and the zeros can handle it. What's it going to be? Oh! Ah, shoot. Would have probably preferred... Okay, wait. I don't think it was Charter Type Priority. I think Dragonair threw one turn before. Aqua Tail. Oh, they Aqua Tailed. They Aqua Tailed. Just throw the rock slide. Oh, why are we throwing cross chop? But we got lucky. We got den They got denied. So you should get off both of these. But you got the shield anyway, so it doesn't matter. We've got ice punch on the bottom right side. Click that ice punch. Oh, no. Brutal. Wow. I thought Hunter would live one dragon breath, but it speaks to how frail it is. My bad. I thought we had that. Sorry, Yusufer. Sorry, comments. I got your guys' hopes up. Shadow Haunter into Shadow Whiskash. Why is the opponent swapping out? Why are they swapping out? It must be like Double Dragon. Okay, that's my guess. It must be like a Double Dragon line, and they're just programmed like I have to swap no matter what I see in the lead. Dude, I faced that today. I had like a super neutral lead, and my opponent just instant swapped. And I was like, what the heck? And end up being double dragons. And the next time I played them, I was ready for it. I was ready for it. Sock knocks out the Dinair. In comes Mr. Whiskash. Going for the body slam here. Body slam gonna chunk a little bit. Hopefully, oh, what if it's like a Guzzlord? That'd be great. If it's a Guzzlord, that'd be great for Machamp. I mean, you kind of have to come in Machamp here, right? Or no? What are we going to do? Yep, comes in my champ. Oh, baby, it's a dugong. Let's go. Let's go. I don't understand why he swapped, though. This Because this isn't even like ABB. This is like ABC. Why are we swapping Dragonair into a Haunter when we have a Whiskash on our Haunter? Like, Whiskash, I would much rather be a Whiskash against a Haunter. I mean, Dragonair is not bad, but, but like, Whiskash is great in that matchup. This is a little scary. Scald would nearly knock out from here. Uh-oh. Scald. Ow. It does knock out. Darn. I thought once I, I thought once we saw the Dugong, we were in a decent spot, but shows what I know. I'm getting way ahead of myself in some of these battles. Next opponent. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Okay. <laughs> Great battle, great game. Express 89. Shadow Hunter into a Dragonair. The Dragon Breaths are just so oppressive here. See, I would prefer to um to throw the ice punch and then swap personally. Because now your opponent kind of has you on the back foot, right? Like if you had gotten the shield, you'd already have a shield advantage to work with. Well, let's see how this plays out. Because like I don't love this either because body time is not even going to threaten to knock out. So Gligar can just safely take this and then farm, but they shield. Okay. So they do you a little bit of a favor. Oh, and they get greedy. Okay. Forget everything I said. If they shield. Okay. 
I think you just throw the Ice Punch, personally. No, it goes for the extra. Does Gligar have two, though? Gligar might have two, and it loses the Shadow Claw. This is scaring me. They go for the dig, okay? <laughs> Going for the catch. Gets the catch. But, like, d -Nair can just stay in. d -Nair can just stay in, and it has a shield. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Body Slam connects. I feel like we're not we're just not giving ourselves a chance. We're just not giving ourselves a chance. We gotta like throw our energy earlier to give ourselves a chance there. Battle starting. Here we go. Angel Master. Shadow Hunter into Tox. Alright, terrifically. Of course, Mud Bomb is scary, but oh, this is so good. They're staying in. They swap in Pidgeot. Let's ice punch it. Let's ice punch it twice. First ice punch coming through Hunter. Looking scary. Pidgeot's actually a pretty bad core breaker, though, because this back line does not want to see Pidgeot. Forced to swap Machamp into Pidgeot. Do you call, like, an Aerial Ace? No, going to shield, whatever this is. Feather Dance, unfortunate. Maybe just commit to the Rock Slide here. Perfect. Perfect. This probably won't knock out because of the debuff, but it'll do a lot of damage still. Puts it low. Nice. I think you just let it go at this point. If it's a Brave Bird, then you can farm it down. And it's a Feather Dance, so you live. Oh, they swap back into Tox. This Cross Chop is going to do nothing. But I think Haunter can shield once and Shadow Claw down before they would ever get to two Mud Bombs here. Actually, maybe I'm wrong. Because didn't... Oh, oh, nice catch. I probably am wrong. Because Tox... I forgot Tox actually stayed in for a while against the Haunter earlier. Sock trying to Karate Chop down. So I like the play here. We're finally like just saving our shield and putting it all on the Haunter. That's where Haunter thrives. We need something we can one-shot in the back. Come on, Haunter. Come on, bro. Also be careful of the catch. Pidgeot's really low. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. One throw. Let's go, Shadow Ball. Not going to knock out. We're going to put it really low. Probably into the red. Oh, it does knock out. Oh, my gosh. Hunter, you madman. You evil little ghost. I don't know if Hunter is supposed to be evil. Like, is Gengar... I love Gengar. Gengar is one of my favorites. Is it supposed to be evil? Party Brandon. Brandon's throwing a party. Can we spoil Brandon's party? Hunter does not like these dragon matchups because the fast moves are just so oppressive, dude. So oppressive. Sock swaps in. Oh, man, this looks so rough. This looks so bad. Oh, no, dude. We're going down two shields. Oh, my gosh, dude. This looks so bad. Do we win this game somehow? Is there any way we win this game? Okay, that's a start. That's a start. Maybe if we get, like, both shields here. Okay, because they don't know what Sock has. Oh, we don't even get to another move, dude. This is so bad. Comes in champ. Non-shadow, so we should live a drill peck. We should live the drill peck. What's going to be in the back? Oh, they hydro cannon us. Even better. Go for the cross chop. If they shield, we got to switch. Cross chop. Grabs the shield. Oh, one shadow claw. Do they have a move yet? Nice. Can we one shot something? Darn. <laughs> we had like, we like tried to find some hope throughout the battle. And then the lick a tongue in the back. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Pretty uh, big, like, ABV line. Dragonite and then double weak to counter. Next opponent haunts her into Talonflame. Man, these Incinerates do so much. Really likes just storing energy with Haunter and then swapping. If I had one recommendation to this trainer, I know this is just, like, a, a fun, kind of crazy team. But they're probably not expecting to do like very well. But I would uh, I would utilize the Shadow Hunter like in the closer spot and maybe adjust this team so Hunter isn't forced to like give up switch every time. Sock chips away at the lantern. Yeah, I like this. Just gonna let it go. Farm down with Machamp. Farm down with Machamp. Or not, Hunter. Okay. 
Likes to keep energy banked on Haunter. We figured out the tendency. Yikes, this is kind of scary. This is very scary, actually. Throw cross chop after two. Talonflame just gets to another fly, though, and then I think you just lose. Wait, but could put it low enough where the Shadow Claws KO. Oh, yeah, two Shadow Claws definitely KOs before an Incinerate goes through. Maybe even one Shadow Claw. Oh, Reggie. Goes to the Ice Punch Bait. The problem is Shadow Ball is just not going to be quite enough here. Reggie's a little bit too bulky, but he's going to make this kind of close. Shadow Ball doing big damage. Oh, my gosh. Just not quite enough, Sag. So sad. Yusufer with his magnifying glass trying to find the wind conditions, which can be difficult when you're running a sock. Okay, terrific lead. Oh, and they're staying even better. Okay, in comes Licky. Perfect. I would, don't want to see anything fancy. I just want to see. Take the body slam. Throw both your cross chops right away. Keep the alignment. Oh, that did more than I thought. Cross chop buff. Oh, I guess the cross chop buff. Look at Tongue throws body slam. Also a little bit under leveled. Oh, opponent. What are we doing? They misclicked. Sometimes I actually know what happened there. You guys can tease the opponent in the comments if you want, but that's actually happened to me before too, where you like are ready to click because you know what you want to come in. And after the game has like prolonged a little bit, sometimes the order of your other two Pokemon will switch. So he was expecting probably his um, Annihilate to be in like the front slot, but it was actually in the back slot or something like that. Eridos. You don't see Eridos much anymore. I like Eridos. It's a fun spammy Pokemon. I like throwing the Ice Punch here on Charge Attack Priority with the Lunge. Lunge would be double resisted. So you actually don't need to shield a Lunge. Nice. Immediate no shield. Double resisted. Look at how well Haunter took that, dude. Haunter's like, look at me, guys. I'm bulky. Catches on a Stunfisk. Presumably a Galarian Stunfisk. Okay. Why are we staying? Oh, no, dude. I'm in pain. This trainer loves building up energy, but like if you had just swapped him a champ right away, you could prevent them from getting off an earthquake. Oh, but okay, I guess you're just gonna call a rock slide anyway. Nice. <laughs> so it works out. This was only a rock slide, right? Gonna get the full farm down. Has rock slide to threaten the Aerido, so that comes in. Oh, it's a polyrath. But this looks like a pretty good situation because you have that ice punch banked. Oh, nice catch by the opponent. This can make things a little bit more dicey, but I think you're still fine. Oh, you get the shield. Okay. Things are going right today. Catches, but didn't really want to catch, right? Wanted to get off the ice punch. Cross poison. Knocks out. Maybe you come in sock now. Let's go, dude. Sock. Making a name for himself. I love his stance. I love his stance. He's ready to go. He's ready to fight. Gonna eat another move. Cross Poison will put this dangerously low, though. So you gotta be careful that Polyrath doesn't, like, snipe you here. Yeah. Nice reaction. Gets off the body slam. Now I think you just counter down. Shield once, counter down. Oh, this works too, probably. Because the Aridos is so low. Yeah. Counter down the Eridos. G to the G. And that is all she wrote. Thank you to uh, our trainer there for the submission. Yusufer JK. I appreciate it. Pretty crazy team here on Spicy Saturday. Double upload on Spicy Saturday is the plan. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had some fun with it. If you did enjoy, feel free to uh, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you are new, comment down below. All comments are appreciated. I am just noticing now that there's an Ultra League badge here. Editor Chris will be docked in his pay <laughs> just kidding if you know you know and um all that said uh, thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one peace